Mr. Lembrick. Oh, thank you. Thank you, President. Um, my question is for the Attorney General. On the 27th of July last year, the Victorian Equal Opportunity and Human Rights Commission issued a statement boldly declaring that mandatory mask directions do not breach human rights. However, it has become apparent that this mandate has resulted in exclusion of people who have mask exemptions from businesses. Effectively, the mask mandates are resulting in, in widespread discrimination against the disabled. I've had reports of people unable to purchase medicine at a pharmacy, unable to attend psychologist counselling sessions, unable to purchase groceries or attend hospital with a sick child. Will the attorney request that Varioc review their position on this issue, taking account of the serious unintended consequence? Attorney General. Thank you, um, President. I thank Mr Grimley for his question in relation to... Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, Mr... <laughs> Mr Grimley was the first, sorry, sorry, Mr Limbrick, um, in relation to uh, restrictions that have been put in place for the public um, well, health and wellbeing um, of our state as we grapple with um, cases of, of coronavirus, of, of course. Um, the specific question in relation to the directives relating to mask wearing would be a matter for the Minister for Health, but you, as you have identified, um, Varioc uh, obviously deal with um, and are able to deal with complaints about discrimination and the like, and they will continue to play um, an important role under the newly appointed um, new Commissioner. Um, their role is to help protect and promote human rights in Victoria, and I look forward to um, uh, working with uh, Ro Allen in her capacity as the new Commissioner. Varioc do continue continue to provide um, information, um, as they always do, responding to inquiries and conduct dispute resolution education services um, throughout the pandemic, whether um, it's directly um, or they also have pivoted, like many organisations, to Zoom, phone, email, web chat and letter. So I do certainly encourage anybody that has complaints in Varioc domain to continue to contact them as necessary. Um, throughout the pandemic, Varioc have supported a range of activities through the provision of information and education. Um, uh, this the Chamber has previously discussed um, uh, issues around uh, tolerance um, and wanting, asking for people to be very kind to one another during this time. There are genuine reasons that people don't wear masks um, and we certainly want uh, businesses to be able to be supported to, to enforce restrictions and encourage their patronage um, to be uh, mindful of others' health and wellbeing. But of course, um, we do encourage people um, to be mindful that there are genuine reasons for people's uh, health and wellbeing that they don't wear a mask and I would urge that um, we all continue to be kind to one another during these difficult times. Mr Limbrink on the supplementary. Thank you, President. And I thank the attorney for her answer, which um, segs perfectly to what I'm going to ask next. Um, it has also come to my attention that although advice from the Health Department and Varioc is that businesses should not discriminate in this way, there is apparently an exemption allowing this discrimination off on the grounds of public safety. I've confirmed with a number of businesses that they do not allow anyone in their uh, businesses, uh, regardless of whether they have an exemption or not. Considering that it seems possible Varioc is powerless to stop this discrimination, Will the attorney commit to raising this issue within Cabinet so that it is properly taken into consideration to ensure public health directions concerning masks show regard to this serious harm? I, I, I probably did address much of that in um, my answer to the substantive question. Um, obviously, businesses are within their rights to... Um, uh, uh, have enforced particular uh, issues about coming and going, but in relation to uh, two masks, it is important that we are mindful that we're... <laughs> yes, I can see you, Dr Cummings. Um, we are very very mindful of not to discriminate against people based on uh, numerous attributes, including disability, which may indeed be connected to masks wearing. Um, it is a matter for the Minister for Health in relation to the directions and how they are enforced, um, but indeed um, it's a matter that's worthy of um, attention of this House, um, and I would call for uh, people to be mindful of their of people's rights to not wear a mask. Having said that, I would encourage all of those without a reasonable excuse uh, to follow the directives as they are put. 